Good morning, my dear students. Now today I am going to solve Dizerium number program. Dizerium number. So what is Dizerium number? Basically, we will take one number from the user, and uh, we will simply find the addition of all the digits with their respective powers. Now here I am opening this file and uh, I am going to show you that how we can use the concept to find the Dizerium number. Now these are the previous programs which already we have solved and I am using the same file again and again because these files I will give you as PDF you can download it. Now today is the concept here in the comment I am writing Dizerium number. Now first take one input so n I am taking n is equal to int input enter the number First, this will accept the number from the user. Enter the number. Now we have to use the n in the while loop. So while loop will destroy the number. So temp is equal to n and temp one is equal to n also. First time we have to count the number. So c is equal to zero. I am taking. And if any variable is needed, then again I will use while in while I am writing temp is greater than 0 and create the block now here d is equal to temp mod 10 then c is equal to c plus 1 this is only to count the digit and then temp is equal to temp slash slash 10 because this is the floor division now here you can see how many digits are there basically it will show you the number of digits are so this is only to show you the digits here I am giving C now when you will run this program, I am giving 2458. You can see 4 digits are there. Now, digits are 4 up to this point, it is correct. So, now after this, I need one variable that will hold the sum also. So, I am declaring here sum is equal to 0. Now, again, while temp 1 is greater than 0 then create the block d is equal to temp 1 mod 10 sum is equal to sum plus math dot pow d comma c now here you have used math dot pow so here import math is needed now you can see this is the last count of c so you have to decrease c equal to c minus 1 every time and temp 1 equal to temp 1 slash slash 10 to run the loop now after this again you can give the print here sum of digits are sum of digits are sum now run the code now here i can give 1 2 3 you can see three three uh, three times you will multiply this so 27 
then 4 then 31 then this is 1 32 it is coming but you can see here this is float type now you have to change it to integer type so simply you will take this in bracket and you will convert it in integer form simply you write it here int now again when you will run this code 1 2 3 here I am giving 1 2 3 now you can see this is the integer type very easy it is now sum is coming so you have to compare if if sum is equal equal n then print diserium number else print not not diserium number now run this code 135 here you have to give the value 135 this is addition is also 30 135 and this is diserium number you can see now again run this code and i am giving the number here one something i have given now you can see not diserium number now students practice this code this is a very important program and thank you.